Welcome back, everyone, to the Countdown to Kickoff show. Al DeMarco along with Steve Budin, and we are joined once again via video conference with handicapper Trace Adams out of Atlanta. How you doing, Trace? I'm great today. How are you guys doing? Hey, not uh, not as good as you have been doing, I have <laughs> to say, on Sundays. I mean, let me give you the shameless self-promotion plug since you're not going to do it yourself. You've won six of the last seven Sundays, and uh, your pay after your win plays, which are on an overall run of 37 and 16. You've hit your pay after your win play seven straight Sundays. Great call. Doubted you last week, but last Sunday, great call. Seattle getting the job done easily on the road against St. Louis. And again, with pay a few win plays with Trace Adams, guys, a unique thing. If he doesn't win, you don't pay. Ain't nothing more fair than that in this business. Uh, Trace, first game you wanted to talk about today is Houston and Jacksonville. Of course, all the focus in this game is how Houston is going to perform with Matt Schaub out, with Matt Leinhart making his first start for the Texans here coming in. I think they have one advantage here. They're coming off a bye, so they've had a little time to prep with a new quarterback. Yeah, exactly. Hey, you forgot to mention two out of three with the free selections on the show last week as well. But anyway, one of the freebies I gave you last week was Jacksonville and Cleveland under. And Jacksonville has been my under team. I'm not going to stray this week, especially with Matt Leiner making his uh, first start for Houston. That Texans defense is going to have to do the job. They've allowed only 10.5 points per game their last four games. Meanwhile, Jacksonville... 13 points per game their last five games, and they're now under nine of their 10 games this year. And their offense, the Jags' offense, 17 points scored or less in nine of their 10 games. Not surprisingly, they've been under in nine of those 10. So let's look for another low one here. I'm going to go under in the Texans and Jags. Uh, certainly Blaine Gabbard has certainly struggled here in terms of getting any offense going. Uh, you know, not not much uh, period in the first meeting. In fact, uh, Gabbard 10 of 30 for 97 yards and two interceptions. And in that game, I think Houston used the same recipe for success they're going to use today. They ran the ball relentlessly. They won at 24-14 playing at home October 30th, and it was really the ground game with Arian Foster and Ben Tate doing the damage, 39 carries, 156 total yards. I don't see why anything should change here today. I think the odds makers, in fact, have made this line one of the biggest jokes on the board. I think Houston minus three and a half is a gift from God. Jacksonville, to me, is complete garbage. Uh, Twelve and a half points a game. I've been saying it the whole year. Uh, if you just bet against them every week, you do pretty well. Um, I don't think you need a big recipe to beat them. Uh, Matt Schaub out, Matt Leinhardt in. Hey, Trace. How many quarterbacks in the NFL named Matt? I don't know one person named Matt in my entire life. The only Matt I know is at my front door. Yet everyone I know named Matt is now a quarterback in the NFL. I don't care which, which Matt plays. I'm going with Houston here laying the points. <laughs> okay. Uh, next game we're going to go uh, turn to is uh, Tennessee and Tampa Bay. You really like these dog games on the uh. board. So I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Who do you like here, Trace? <laughs> Well, you forgot Matt Ryan and Matt Flynn, the backup for the Packers as well there with all your It's masks. ridiculous. Uh, it is. It's out, it's out of control. Anyway, Tampa Bay, Tennessee. I'm going to look for Tennessee to rebound from their performance at Atlanta. They showed some life late in that game, although they did fail. And Tampa Bay, to me, I think they emptied the gas tank trying to beat the Packers last week. Now, they didn't win, but they did cover. But they were getting double digits in that one. They've lost four in a row now in five of six. And when they're a single-digit underdog, they're just two and four this year. I'm going to take the Titans on their home field to bounce back and get the win and the cover over the beleaguered Buccaneers. Yeah, I think that's a good point you brought up about the Buccaneers. I mean, they played their hearts out, almost uh, gave Packers a scare in their first loss of the season. I don't see how they rebound here. They've uh, failed to cover three of their last four on the road. Of course, you know, Tennessee, we look at that final score, 23-17 last week at Atlanta. But remember, when Matt Hasselbeck out, went out with that elbow injury and Jake Locker came in, uh, Tennessee was down 23-3 at that time, uh, and yet still, I think the Titans minus the field goal at home is the way to go. Yeah, Tampa Bay just had a really tough schedule, out of the country, back, lost their last four against very good teams. I don't see how they muster it up. I'm going with Tennessee also. And the last one you wanted to touch on was uh, Denver and uh, San Diego. I told you guys last week here on the show, the Chargers, I was through with them. As a matter of fact, I used the Bears as a free pick on my daily video report, of which, FYI, Trace Adams has one, just like me, on our sites every single day. Uh, Tim Tebow, what can you say, 4-1 and one as a starter, could not rally the team coming off the bench in, uh, to replace uh, Kyle Orton in the first go-round. And this has been a series that has been dominated by the Chargers. I believe they've won and covered four straight. Lay it with San Diego or... Uh, does Tebow work his magic once more? Well, like you, last week I said to, uh, I'm off the Chargers as well, and I'm certainly off them laying points here. 
like you said, their last win was October 9th when they beat the Den the Denver team 29-24 with Tebow rallying them. Hey, I'm a believer in Tebow. It's not pretty, but it's effective. You can't argue the results. Four of five straight up and against the spread now since he's been in. And, uh, of course, Matt, uh, Philip Rivers, I'm thinking Matt Rivers, but <laughs> Philip Rivers. His can, name should be Matt. Struggle with, with throwing interceptions. So I don't see how you can back the Chargers here. I think you've got to take the points and go with the Broncos. Tony Rivers, 17 interceptions. Mr. Turnover, he owns that title in the league this year. 21 turnovers he's personally responsible for. Don't you feel like San Diego's just quit on their coach? I mean, look, uh, Elway came out the other day earlier in the week and said they still haven't found their quarterback. To me, he's just motivating Tebow because it's obvious at this point the more you get down on Tebow, the more he wins. I love Tebow in Denver, but only when they're in a position to play a team that they can win. I think San Diego, a team that they can beat. I think San Diego is one of those teams that they can beat. I like Denver here. Going on the Tebow train one more time. Listen, the Chargers can't stop the run. They can't put pressure on opposing quarterbacks. And no one has been able to stop the triple option because, you know, people look at that and say, oh, it's a college offense. Yeah, but the problem is this is the NFL. Right. And defensive coordinators and the players in the league are not accustomed to playing against that triple option. No different in college football when a team fight places a uh, place like Georgia Tech or Army, for example. They're just not accustomed to seeing that type of offense. They have a hard time defending against it. So I think this could be a three- or four-point game. I'm with you. I would go with the Broncos. Hey, Trace, thanks for joining us again. Trace Adams, six of seven winning Sundays. Uh, and Trace we trust. And Trace we trust. There you go. Seven straight pay after you win. Double thumbs up, baby. Seven straight pay after you win winners as well, and his latest is available. And again, Trace has a daily video report where he gives you a free play and in-depth analysis every single day like I do on the site. And no purchase necessary, no registration required to check it out. We will be back with more games here as we continue to count down the kickoff. That's the show's name. Al DeMarco here with Steve Boone, and we'll be joining you once again in just a moment. You want to get my best bet today for free? Steve's latest play from the Baltimore crew is number one NFL service. That is 30 and 14 over the past four years combined. Guys, you can. Plus all the handicappers at picknation.com. All their plays, all their analysis today for free simply by trying out the one-day free all access pass. And when we say free, we mean it. No strings attached. Al, I've been in this business 25 years, both sides of the fence. I've never seen a company do this. I've never seen a company so confident in their system and in their handicappers that they were willing to give everything away for free so that the, the entire public can see exactly what's going on before they make a decision whether to participate or not. This is really revolutionary. I mean, listen, we're a 100% online business, guys. There's no 800 numbers. There's no salesman. We don't want your phone number. We don't care about any of that stuff. You come to picknation.com. You click on the free one-day all-access pass and you get all of our plays, all the handicappers for free, no strings attached. I can't emphasize that enough. Now, here's the deal, though. You are getting 9, 10 handicappers plays for free. If you had bought them all separately today, guys, you would be spending five, $600 at least. You're getting it all for free. Why? I think it also goes to show that I feel that we have put together the strongest staff of professional handicappers in the business, guys that win consistently, guys that make you money over the long haul, guys like Anthony Red, Craig Davis, myself, your Baltimore crew, and this is the best way of doing it because people say, well, put your money where your mouth is. We don't want your money. We're just going to give it to you for free, and the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, we're going to let you build your bankroll on us so that you can go ahead, build that bankroll, and get ready to turn it into big profits over the season. So, guys, you're here at picknation.com. You go there. You click on the free one-day all-access pass. You enter your information. You get your user code, and off you go. It's free, one-day free all-access pass right now at picknation.com.